Affiliates, they made a small mistake in one of the things I talked about with uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution in the context of elimination addition reactions, the ones where you have NaNH2 with NH3 <coughs> on a benzene ring with a leaving group. And let's start with the NO2. I was saying that if you have a strong withdrawing group on your benzene, you are going to direct ortho and para. And in the case of NO2, that is still true, because with NO2, you have resonance into the nitrogen, which will put positive charges on the ortho and the para positions. And of course, this bond can resonate over there and get the positive on the other ortho position. But I also said CF3 would undergo the same situation. And I need to correct myself on that, because CF3, well, it can't resonate. It's a carbon with four bonds on it, and none of those are double bonds or anything, so we can't just make this magically make four, a fifth bond. So how do we consider where that and uh, the uh, NH3 is going to go in this case? Um, in the case of CF3, it's still a very strong withdrawing group, so it's going to want the electrons closest to it, or it, it wants a, it wants the abundance of electrons to be closest to it. Meaning, let's say we have our benzene, we have that NH3 coming in step. Now we saw before in the case of NO2, NH3 can attack here or here, but one position is definitely better. In the case of NO2, we saw that because this carbon becomes positive through resonance, the NH3 will always prefer attacking there, the ortho position. And if the triple bond was here or here, it would always prefer attacking the para position because the positive resonates there. But in this case, since there's no resonance, that isn't the reasoning behind where this NH3 goes. We have two options. The NH3 can either attack the top, and then the triple bond would resonate down, putting a negative charge on the bottom carbon, or the NH3 can attack that bottom carbon and push the electrons up to the top, making the negative charge here in the ortho position. Now, since we want that negative charge to be as close to our withdrawing group as possible, the NH3 is preferentially going to attack the bottom carbon because that will push the electrons up to the ortho position and that negative charge will be closer to the CF3 as a result. So, let me draw these arrows in green so they're easier to see. So that NH3 is going to attack the meta position and the electrons will swing up to the ortho position. And now we have this intermediate, CF3 on a benzene ring. And now we have a negative charge here on a double bond and the NH2H plus. And then we just do our proton transfer. That negative charge grabs the proton, neutralizes the nitrogen. So we ended up adding that NH2 to the meta position. And so again, in the case of CF3, it's not explained by resonance. In CF3's example, it's explained by getting the negative charge that's the result of, of what happens after the attack. Be, you want to make that negative charge as close to your withdrawing group as possible. So that is why in the case of CF3, it still will be directed meta. Okay, so I'm sorry about that little mistake of mine. 